I bet you didn't see Strange World. I bet you didn't even know the movie existed. And if you do, you found out about it very recently. And the only reason I found out about it was I watched a TikTok about the movie failing. So the only thing notable about it is that the movie, well, failed. Well, why is this? Well, the movie wasn't marketed. Like, at all. Full stop. There was very limited commercials. Everything. I think they thought that they could market it in the Disney Plus ecosystem itself. Put it on people's home pages with thumbnails and stuff like that. Well, that didn't exactly pan out. And also signals to a larger problem with Disney as a whole. Is they've gotten very comfortable in their space as the largest multimedia conglomerate company that the world has literally ever seen. Which, you know what? Fair enough. I think anybody would. But this could really put them in a lot of hot water and kind of already has. They've taken a very corporate stance to art and movies and that's kind of a big problem in the entertainment industry in general right now, but specifically Disney with the complaints about the MCU being formulaic and, well, bad, and just not holding up to what Endgame was. Different video, different day. They've also been sticking to one very standard art style since around about Moana came out, and probably honestly sooner with that with Frozen, because it was so popular, and that's how popular it was, so they just standardized the art style around that largely. So now you have the situation where all the Disney animated movies kind of look the same, which I'm sure is great for branding and is very recognizable to this is a Disney movie. You know what you're watching on a commercial or ad, even though they aren't marketing anything, but you know what you're watching. At least they'll have to say, the Walt Disney Company, you just know. But the flip side of that is all of the movies look very same-ish. There's a lot of movies that if you just take a screenshot out of them, say Luca versus Moana versus Strange World versus any of these, you, it's kind of hard to tell where the screenshot came from in the first place, despite them being different movies released years apart. But let's talk about just how hard Strange World flopped. It flopped very aggressively. Same with Lightyear. It lost, Strange World lost $104 million. Lightyear lost $100 million. That's $200 million gone. Just out in the wind they're just throwing it away at this point which honestly the disney is probably closer to a rounding error but i mean still it obviously isn't ideal especially for their shareholders and stock price and stuff like that and just to dip back how the movie is marketed you probably saw the thumbnail for it on disney plus i probably saw the thumbnail for it on disney plus but it didn't look intriguing because it looks like everything else they've released in the past three years and it's i mean okay inside of a streaming service isn't the great place greatest place to market your product in general but still like come on disney it just it didn't look enticing nobody clicked it and nobody knew it existed probably just faded away into the endless abyss of whatever's on disney plus at this point but even with all of these issues obviously disney is going to be fine drawing back to the most massive multimedia conglomerate world ever seen that i mentioned earlier but i do like to look at these little failures as a reminder is when all these companies, huge, huge companies, the largest companies the world has ever seen, your Amazon, your Microsoft, your Apple, your Disney's, that nothing ever has been, ever can be, ever will be too big to fail. If you make enough terrible decisions, a company will sink. Nothing will be around forever, no matter how timeless it might look from the outset. Well, if you enjoyed this video and this discussion, be sure to subscribe, like all that YouTube jazz. You know the drill at this point. I mean, everybody yells at you for it, right? And have a great day.